Hello, welcome to the Living History School. Today we're at the Museum of Natural and Cultural History at the University of Oregon here to look at the world's oldest pair of running shoes. This is my assistant, the squirrel. She's a little dirty today. So here's a drawing of the Fort Rock sandals. These were found here in Oregon. Um, they're 10,000 years old. They're um, Paleo-Indian. Uh, and basically, this is an artist rendition of the sandals. Here's a spiral, spiral wept sandal, also found here in Oregon in the dry caves. Another artist rendition. And then this is the multiple warp sandal, also found here in Oregon. And up on display, they're kind of dark, but this one right here is the 10,000-year-old uh, sandal from the first drawing that I showed you and then this is the the second one the spiral sandal um, it is 9,000 years old Let's see if I can get a close-in of the of the detail this one you could has better light on it so you can see so so that would be fun to make a copy of those and then, then this one up here, there's another one not in such good condition. But this is this one's really nice. You can really see the, the weaving weaving technique on that one. And here is a a little kid's pair of sandals. Um about a thousand years old. So here's some stone tool technology from around the same time period as the sandals. Um around the, pa it's basically Paleo-Indian. So we're going to zoom in on here. These are two crescent-shaped knives or scrapers found here in Central Oregon dating from the 12,000 to 15,000 period. Um, here's some uh, large pieces of, of hunting spears and knives. Um, up above here is a camel, camel toe bone. Um, of course, um, there was camels here back 12,000 years ago. And then here's some uh, more spear spear points. Let's see if we can zoom in on those. Some close-ups. So here's what the camo looked like here in Oregon, ten to twelve thousand years ago. And here's the ancient horse. That lived here 15,000 years ago. Here's a photo of kind of the environment where these things were found. The kind of desert region people lived up in these little uh, rock shelters or caves in these plateaus out in eastern Oregon. Here's a good shot of a hafted Clovis point on the end of a atlatl dart. It's a good illustration. Some nice fluted points. Um, it's like one uh, maybe out of chert, another you know, the middle one out of the city, and you can see the fluting going all the way up the full length of the of the uh, point. Thank you for joining me today on the Living History School, and I hope you learned a little bit about Paleo Indians. And uh, you'll subscribe to my channel, and you also you can visit us on Facebook under Living History School.